Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing? Man, we are back again doing another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to build this awesome Minecraft Hobbit Hole. It has everything you need to survive in Minecraft with another portal, enchanting station, a bunch of storage, sleeping, smelting, crop fields, even a little axolotl pen. But let's get this started. Let's build this block for block. And here we go with the block palette. So we're going to be bringing in some spruce planks, the stairs, the slabs and trap doors. Also the oak log, the stripped oak log, the planks, the slabs and the fence gates. I'm bringing in a little bit of green terracotta and also some wax weathered cut copper and wax weathered copper. These could be changed with any other block. I'm going to show you how. And then also a couple barrels and then white stained glass, a little bit of moss and green carpet and a couple other things along the way. And here we go with the dimensions and the space you're going to be needing on the outside for this hobbit hole. So right here, we're going to count from this log. We're going to go down another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 and then another log right over here and then we have a couple barrels on each corner in the back space here you're going to be needing a clearing of one two three four five and six to this line and this goes another one two three and four right there and then a three spacer going up one right here on this side so this is the beginning and then i'll show you the inside after we get the facade done now we're going to find the middle point which is this block right here in the center bit you're going to have the space one two three four and five on this side and then five on this side that's how you know that's the center so we're going to grab a spruce trap door i'm going to place one right here on this corner we're also going to be placing another one over here on this corner i'm going to grab a stair face it down this direction then one this direction i'm going to grab a trap door and let's go ahead and lift that up here and then let's lift that up right there. I'm going to go on the outside bit and put another trap door. And on this side, we're going to put another trap door. I'm going to grab a stair. I'm going to put an upside down stairs, put it on this corner and then slide it down. Use it as a placeholder block. So it has that look to it. Another placeholder, put another one right here. So it should look like this. I'm going to grab another trap door. This is a placeholder one because we're going to place one on top, open that and then take that away. Same one over here, placeholder block, put a trap door, open it and take that away. Then from here, we're going to do another little placeholder block on the inside and then take it out. Make sure that upset on stairs above the trap door. And we're going to do another one right here on this side. Then I'm going to place another trap door right here on this corner and then one on this corner. Then I'm going to grab a slab. I'm going to put one on top of each trap door we placed and a double slab or full block above that right there. Now we're going to come back over here on this side. Let's put a stair down facing this direction skip a block put a stair down here put a trap door in the middle just like that and you can put them actually put them this direction so they match those on the bottom i'm going to put another trap door open that up and then it's a little placeholder block and another upside down stair above that trap door i'm going to place a trap door right on the top bit and then one on top like so i'm going to place another stair facing this direction and then another stair facing this direction trap door above that one and another trap door above that stair I'm going to do another little placeholder on top and slide that out. You can get rid of this one. Another placeholder above and slide that out and get rid of that one. So we have this little circular pattern. And then above that, we're just going to put a trapdoor. Now we're going to come back on this side and repeat it. So we're going to put a stair here, trapdoor on the side, stair here. We're going to put a trapdoor, open that up. We're going to put a little placeholder block and a stair facing this way. And then a trapdoor on top like so. Another stair, one this side, one over here trap door on top trap door above open it placeholder block and then an upside down stair above that one then another upside down stair placeholder and one above so it matches that trap door close it trap door on top now we're going to jump here on the side and lift some oak logs we're going to go up one two three four and five put a barrel down here barrel down right there stair stair upside on stair above those stairs oak fence on top of each and then a stair down here and a stair down right there then we're going to repeat it over here on this side so let's go up one two three four and five two barrels stair stair down here stair down upside downs right there fence fence stair down and a stair down right there now for the next bit i'm going to grab a slab of spruce i'm going to put that right on top of that little exposed log another one over here and then we're going to go up right on this side with a simple slab pattern. So we're going to put a slab on top, double slab, a slab above, one on top of that, a double, and then a double here. And then same thing coming back down. So a double, 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 and then one right there like that. Now I'm going to grab a stair. I'm going to go with an upside down stair right in front of that one. So it gives you this curved look to it. 
I'm going to do another one over here like so. Then we're going to go up also the same way. Double slab, a double, double, and a double. I'm going to go with a double here, double, and a double there. So we have this little overhanging bit. Now from here, we're going to fill in the backside blocks. First step, I'm going to go right in this circular pattern here, and we're going to just surround this in the wax weathered copper. We can mix the cut ones and the non-cut version like that. We'll do the same thing up here, so we can mix this, just circle it around, leave that little space for a window, and it can go ahead and just uh, mix that up with some texturing like so. I'm going to do the same thing over here, so let's take that little circle around just like that, mix it up with the blocks. Do the same thing over here, and then we're going to mix in the blocks here. Now, if you don't have copper, you don't have a way to wax it, you can put any kind of copper, but you can any, actually put any kind of block here. You can mix it and match it different colors. You can use terracottas, concretes, woods. You can use really anything in these little circles. This is going with the, the copper. It looks pretty cool. Now, just like you can mix the different colors, I'm going to use uh, green terracotta here and take it all the way up right to that line. So it's a one, two, three, four, and five and then just cover that up, leaving a, a space right here for a big door, and we can get rid of that placeholder block. And again, just like before, you can change this to any color, and it will look pretty cool. Now here, I'm gonna put an upset on stair, another upset on stair, a trap door above, and then a trap door lining going all the way down to the bottom, just like that. Now for this little back paneling, uh, we're gonna do a couple little modifications. I'm gonna get rid of that block, that block, and then this block here. And then I'm just gonna bring in some of these stripped spruce logs, just like so going all the way up and down, and then you can mix and match it also with some planks, so you get a little bit of a texture job above here, and you can get this look to it, which should look something like that. That looks pretty good, and again, this could be changed to really anything you want. Also, one little bit of detail, I'm gonna put a trapdoor here and a trapdoor there. Now, the last bit, we're gonna take this dirt bit out, and I'm gonna show you how to do the interior right now, but all you need to know about this part here is it's gonna be a section for uh, just your door. So I'm gonna take it up with the same strip that we did above, and I'm gonna put a little upside down stair of spruce right here, and then we can do the same little texturing we did before, just like that. And then we're going to drop our door on the inside and it should look just like this and the outside is almost finished is all we got to do now is knock down these bits here and put some white glass you can use any color glass or you can actually use trap doors or fences either one is fine now as far as the interior this is all the space you're going to be needing for this build so to count from this edge right here the height is one two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So you want an eight high from this bottom level right here. To count the blocks here uh, from this door, this is the facade you're gonna have already built. So from here, from this line, this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So from this edge to that edge is a 15 wide. From this edge to that edge, let's count. It's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Having that pillar, it doesn't matter. It's going to be hidden. You're going to be doing a little modification, kind of pushing back on sides here, on this corner, that corner, and this corner. From this side, it's going to be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then on the 8th, you're going to push it back by two, and it's a five block gap space behind here, curving back and going back to the end. On this side, we're going to be going one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. On the seventh, you're going to push it back by one, and it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven on the back here. This is where uh, we're going to have our nether portal. Here, we're going to have our enchanting station. Back there, we're going to have our smelter and our sleeping area, and then storage in between. Wherever you see a log, we're going to be placing a pillar going up all the way around. So let's start. We're going to start right here on this edge. For this section over here that we have our door, we can go ahead and just lift this all the way up to the top, which is, remember, this one's up by eight. We can take it up to the top, and then you can go ahead and just texture that as you see fit so you have a nice lining to it. So remember, this is our front door. I'm going to start lifting up blocks over here. So right here on this corner is with oak logs. So we're going up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Give it a three block gap space and also take this up by eight. This back part, you're not going to be seeing it, so it's fine. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing next to this side. So oak log all the way to the top, right next to this line, space of three, all the way to the top, right over here. This part, remember, you're not going to see it, so you can leave whatever stone you have or dirt hidden back there. Something that I would like to do, though, is right here on this edge is maybe change this back part here just with some oak. 
We can do the same thing over here, and I'm going to show you why. You're going to see a little bit of it when you start lifting up these logs. So right here, remember to recess this in by one, because we're going to take this all the way up, this log, space of two. We're going to bring some more oak and just cover up this little bit right here. You can also cover up the back end here if you want to. It is up to you guys. I would probably do it uh, just so you don't see any of that dirt back there. And then we're going to put chests on the side of that later. So space of two, take it also up by eight. This goes up to the top and then also cover up this part. We're only going to cover up this section right here all the way up and then cover up these going all the way up right here to uh, the top bit right there. This we're going to give it a space right here of one, two and three in the back part here. I'm going to grab some obsidian and uh, it's a big nether portal. So we're going to go up one, two, three, four, five and six. Go up one, two, three, four and five. And then right here, another six. And then we have a five block gap space. Uh, and this down here will be where the rest of the obsidian goes right there. And then we're going to do the same thing right here on the edge. We're going to go up all the way to the top, get our log, take this one all the way up to the top as well, just like that. Now, right up here, we could cover this up with just four blocks. That's fine. From here, we're going to give it a space of two. Also take this beam all the way to the top, fill in the back part here with our oak. Also the back part over here as well. And then from this, we're going to go ahead and jump to this side, space of two. Also beam, take it up by the same amount. We're going to put our oak planks on the back and then you can cover up this back part as well with our oak planks here. Same thing. Take your oak plank all the way to the top. And then we're going to give it a space of two. Take this one all the way up right over here. And then from this side, we're going to cover up this bit right here with our oak planks, just like that. I'm going to leave this space open because right here, if you notice, we're going in one. Then it goes in one at a diagonal. And then we're doing a little bit of a uh, U shape right here. Go back with a diagonal this way. But before we get to that side, let's jump over here so we can mirror that side over on this end. So back to the front, we're going to give that space of two. Take it up by eight. Space of two up by eight bring in your planks of oak cover up the back cover up this back right over here then we're going to jump on this side same thing put the sides here with our oak and then cover the back as well with the same planks and then from here we're going to give this one a space of one two and three so take this one all the way to the back this curves another five right here and then curves back so just notice here, this is a space of uh, one, two, three, four, and five right there. We're going to put our log and just take that all the way to the top and we'll finish that inside part. Another space of two up to the top, another space of two all the way up to the top, and then do our same planks. Cover up the back side over here. This little middle section gets covered up, and then this little section gets covered up too, and then just fill in the back part. Now last bit over here, we're going to take that all the way up to the top. Space of two, take this one all the way up as well, just like that. And then we're going to cover up this little bit right over here, matching this side perfectly. And then from here, we're just going to go ahead and fill this up all the way to the top as well with our oak right there. And then we can do the same thing over here, actually, and take this one all the way to the top so we don't see that stone. Now, before we start filling in this section and that section, let's do some cross beams. So we're going to be cross beaming right at this level right here right at this level. So one space above that one. So we're going to cross beam all the way down like so. This is going to go all the way down in every single level right here, all the way down. And then this is going to curve around perfectly right to here. And then that gets covered up. Now the next cross beam, we're going to do another one right here on this section. So we're going to cross all the way down to the very, very end from one beam to the other. We're going to do the same thing over here on this side. So it's going to cross beam all the way to the end and cross to there. And then we're going right in the center, a little cross beam that goes right down the middle, all the way down the middle, all the way down, meeting in the front door right there. Now we're going to do some upside down stairs. Let's go upside down right here on the corner bits and a trap door. We're going to do the same thing in the front right here, upside down stairs and a trap door. We're going to do the same thing, two upside downs, two upside downs here. We're going to go with an upside down on this side, one over here. We're going to put a trap door on each side and then trap doors on the side bits. Just like this, next to the stairs we just placed, going all the way, just to the front level right here, just the, the top side. I'm going to do this all the way down. I'm going to repeat it over here as well, so upside down stairs, going all the way down, just like that. Also with our trap doors in the sides, right here. More trap doors going down. And if you want, you can take it down all the way. I'm just going to keep it right to the top side here. And then again, upside down stairs on the remaining bits. Going down like so, right here. And then our trap doors underneath, just like this, wrapped 
all the way around. Then to finish this off, same thing, upside down stairs, all the way around, on top of every one of these cross beams, even here, trap doors on the side bits, just like that, and on the side bits here, going all the way around, finishing up those trap doors right there, and it should look like this all the way around with our stairs and trap doors. Now for the ceiling, we're gonna grab some spruce slabs, and we're gonna go on the top side of these logs right here, and surround this bit. It's gonna be a little bit of a five by five box above. It's gonna look something like that, and then above this, we're gonna grab some oak planks and we're just gonna place them on the top, just like that, with a barrel in the middle, a grindstone underneath, and a lantern, just like that, hanging down. If you want, you can do the same kind of texturing we did over here and mix and match and add some of the, um, the same stripped oak right there on the top bit. And it's up to you guys how you wanna set that up. So now we just have to do this on every one of these little separations on the top. And at the end, it should look something like this. Now, for added details, what we could do is, uh, right here at the bottom, I do have shroom lights down here. You could keep this if you wanted to. I'm just gonna keep the middle strip and we're gonna cover up that with carpet. But if you wanna add more lighting, you can actually put the lights right here on the bottom bits of every single one of these oak logs. And then grab some trap doors and just place these facing downwards, just like this. And all the way around, it should have this look to it. Now it's time for this section over here. This is gonna be our enchanting station right here across from from the nether portal and i'm actually going to push this back one more right here on this end just so we can have a lot of books we're going to have books stacked all the way to the top and i want to make sure this goes to a level 30. so we're going to go down one two three and four and then one two three one two three and four just like that and i'm going to take this all the way from the top to the bottom if you don't have this many books available which you probably won't especially if you're doing this at the beginning uh, you can just go ahead and just replace these with planks or, or barrels or anything really uh, but i'm going to take it all the way to the top it's going to look really really good uh, these parts you don't even need to do that um, let's just take it all the way up so up here you can replace some of these here with just some of just either oak planks or the stripped oak and then back here we have this little spot we're going to put the enchanting in the middle and then we're going to get some looms and some of these are going to be replaced we're going to go ahead and make sure they're sideways so they look like little empty bookshelves and we can go ahead and just put as many as you want or as little as you want and just make sure you don't mess with the top three here because that's you're going to be needing that right there but some of these also can be replaced with barrels just to add either extra storage or stuff like that we can even get rid of maybe even these two and then i can replace this pretty much with anything just go ahead and put a couple planks there and in the center we can have a little ender chest just like that we just drop a little upside down stair. We have all this in place. And then back here, we could just get rid of all of this and just uh, continue with the flooring. The flooring could be anything. I did put spruce, but you could put any kind of flooring right there. Just gonna get rid of these shroom lights there. I'm just gonna keep the middle going all the way down. Now bringing our attention over here on this end. So we have this look to it. This is the space you're gonna be needing. So for this section, I'm gonna put a couple crafting benches, one on each side, one on each side right here. I'm gonna start lifting up a couple of our blast furnaces going up right here, two and two. Then over here, I'm gonna grab a smoker. I'm just gonna go up two over here and then two over here. Same thing, two and two. And then on the top, I'm just gonna get a regular furnace, one on each side, one on each side. So just a little um, cooking area right there. So we have this space so we can go back. And on this one, I'm gonna grab a log. I'm gonna go one, two, and three right here. I'm gonna put a regular old red bed in the middle. Then I'm gonna go up one and two. And on this one, we're gonna go ahead and go on the third one. I'm gonna put a couple slabs and a trap door. And I'm just gonna put a couple barrels going up like that, a little two by three. And I'm just gonna replace the back here with just the regular oak. Except for this little bit, I'm gonna take these up by three. Let's go ahead and go out and back in here. I'm gonna put a little armor stand right here and I'm just gonna put some diamond armor on it. Uh, it could be any armor, but that looks cool. The same thing we've done in the other sections. I'm gonna replace some of these here just with the strip so it has a nice little texture to it. And just for added decorations, I'm gonna put a little flower pot with an azalea and a lantern on this side. And it's gonna replace this flooring right here with more spruce. For the ceiling, we're gonna do the same thing that we've been doing. I'm gonna go ahead and just replace this also with the oak all the way down. And I'm gonna cover up that bit do a little bit of texturing like we've been doing here on the side and on the top as well, just like that. Now right here, I wanna do a little bit of a carpeting job, but I'm gonna be doing it with moss carpet. So I'm gonna go one, two, and three. I'm gonna take this all the way down to the front door. And then for this section, I'm gonna put some wool on the bottom because we have the trap door, but I'm gonna be taking some of this green carpet going all the way down to the very end. We gotta stop here. So for this one, I'm also gonna put a little green wool and then cover up these two. Same thing 
over here and take it all the way down. So in the end, it should look like this. And then one of the last things we need to do is fill this whole sections here with chest. Now you got two options to do this here. If you want, you could just go just sideways like I'm going to do them just like this. Or you can go in one deeper in the back right here. And then you could do double chests like that. Just make sure you can replace uh, just this uh, oak one level back but you can do doubles all the way down for the video though just to make it easier on us i'm just going to put them here in the front another thing you could do is underneath here you can do the same shroom lights if you wanted to light it up even more it really is up to you guys if you want to go all out with the lighting but I'm just gonna go ahead and stack up these chests. And then last but not least, we can go ahead and replace this little back part as well with some of the same oak patterns that we've been doing here, just so it doesn't have to look too bad in the backside. And then just give a little surrounding border as well. Same thing that we've been doing around the sides here with some oak. And again, uh, this is it. This is super simple, but then all we gotta do is light that up and we can have a big nether portal over here on this side. All of the chests are all set up all the way around and we have a nice flooring. Everything is lit up. The ceiling is looking cool. What do you guys think? Think though <laughs> this is looking pretty cool for a nice little hobbit hole base now if you guys want to add a little more support in the middle it's up to you guys if you want to maybe modify this thing but if you wanted to take a beam down over here and also over here uh, it would look actually pretty good maybe even changing the barrel here in the bottom bits and then if you want as well you can add a little bit of stair action here in the center bit just so you can look like it's a little bit more supported if you wanted just to have some kind of uh, structure in the center have a little beam going down so it is up to you guys if you want to keep that or just have an open feel to it so many different options though now the build itself is completely finished but i want to give you guys some inspiration of how you can actually terraform the outside bit so everything blends in nicely with the hobbit hole so let me show you what i mean And just like that, we got a really awesome exterior for our Hobbit Hole base in here. I got a small little axolotl pen here on the side, which is really, really cool. Adding some of the small drip leaf, regular drip leaf. We have some sea pickles in there, a little bit of moss, which looks pretty cool. Over here, we have ourselves a nice little crop field, little pumpkin patch. Also, custom tree here on the side with a, a couple little ones here on the corner bits and on the top. Little overgrown bits on the side and a nice fencing here. This is gonna maybe just surround this area make it a little bit more secure even though pretty much anybody can walk in here but it's really awesome just to have a little bit of fencing here just to frame the area but that's it <laughs> that's all there is to it Hopefully you guys enjoyed, got a little bit of inspiration, and let me know if you guys want to see more Hobbit Hole builds like this in the future. I would love to do some more, maybe an ultimate version of this thing, but I'm out of here for now. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you on the next Minecraft video. Goodbye.